I always ask my students, I say, can a book change people's minds? And the answer is yes. This book changed a lot of people's minds. Let me tell you a little bit about this book. Um, 300,000 copies of Uncle Tom's Cabin were sold in the United States the year after its publication. It was adapted for multiple movies beginning in 1852. Um, it was a very popular book. The story. The story of Uncle Tom is actually dire. There was a slave, saintly, he was great, his name was Uncle Tom, but on his way to New Orleans, um, a little girl named Ava was drowning. And so Uncle Tom saves Ava, and in gratitude, the father purchases Uncle Tom, and they, him and Ava become friends. Ava was always sick. Here's a picture of Ava right there. Ava was always sick, and Ava unfortunately dies. On Ava's deathbed, she says, I want you to free all the slaves to her dad, and Ava dies. Unfortunately, um, this dad never had an opportunity to free the slaves because he was killed. And the man that killed him became the slave owner of Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom refused to share the whereabouts of runaway slaves until Uncle Tom was whipped to death. This book changed people's minds. This was the most read book, second read, most read book of the time. Uncle Tom's Cabin um, becomes a staple in American history because it sparked the abolitionist movement. It sparked people wanting to change and wanting to do something about slavery. So you're the little woman who wrote this great book that started this great war. Famous quote by Abraham Lincoln to Harriet Beecher Stowe. We actually don't know if that really happened, but that is one of the famous quotes that goes with Uncle Tom's Cabin. So you're the little woman that started this war.